Welcome to the beginning of module six. So in this module, what we'll be working with is we'll be working inside of the products section and we'll be setting up a new library called NGRX Entity. And this is gonna give us different ways we can manage our product entities within our store. So we'll need to install this library called NGRX Entity and we'll set that up within this module. And then after that, then we'll perform some CRUD functionality with our store using the NGRX Entity adapter method. So we'll create, read, update, and delete products from our store using NGRX Entity. And then we'll also select some things from our store using the, the NGRX Entity adapter methods as well. So that, that's what we'll be doing within this module. So let's take a look at our project and see what it's gonna look like after we're done with module six. By the end of module six, you'll see this products feature within our store. And as you can see, it looks a little different than our other features. We're gonna be storing all of our products within this entities, and we'll be checking that out throughout this module. Also, we'll be adding some pagination as well throughout this module. As you can see here, we currently don't have any products within our store, so we'll be setting up some CRUD functionality. And we'll first be loading a list of products, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll click on the Go Shopping, and that's gonna load in a list of products, our shopping products. And then as you can see here, we now have a list of products within our store. And also we have some pagination here for our first, next, and last, and we'll set that up as well. So let's go and check out the code. Inside of module six, we'll be mainly working within our products module, and that's within the modules and the products folder right here. And we'll be setting up this state folder throughout this module, module six, and we'll be creating this action file and we'll be creating all these different actions, the effects, and this is gonna be mainly working with our API, these effects here, like deleting, updating, reading, things like that. And then the reducer, we'll be setting up NGRX Entity, and we'll be using the Entity State, the Entity Adapter throughout this module, and also we'll be creating a few selectors as well. Also, we'll need to create a bunch of global effects and we'll add those global effects within the store like we've been doing in the prior modules. And we'll need to create a bunch of global effects for our alerts and also the spinner. So we'll be setting that up as well. So let's get started. In the next video, we'll begin by installing the NGRX Entity Library.